the sepsis bundle has been central to the implementation of the Surviving Sepsis Campaign, SSC, from the first publication of its evidence-based guidelines more than two decades ago. The bundle elements were designed to be updated by new evidence and have evolved accordingly. In response to the publication of Surviving Sepsis Campaign, International Guidelines for Management of Sepsis and Septic Shock 2016, a revised Hour 1 bundle has been developed. In this update, the former three- and six-hour bundles have been combined into a single Hour 1 bundle, with the goal to begin resuscitation and management with treatment immediately at the bedside. While more than one hour may be required for resuscitation to be completed, it is recommended to begin treatment immediately rather than waiting or extending resuscitation measures over a longer period, especially in patients with hypotension. These are the elements of the updated sepsis hour 1 bundle. Measure lactate level. Remeasure if initial lactate is 2 millimoles per litre. Obtain blood cultures prior to administration of antibiotics. Administer broad spectrum antibiotics. Begin rapid administration of 30 millilitres per kilogram crystalloid for hypotension or lactate equal to or greater than 4 millimoles per litre. Apply vasopressors if patient is hypotensive during or after fluid resuscitation to maintain MAP of greater than or equal to 65 mm Hg. This new sepsis hour 1 bundle, based on the 2016 guidelines, should be introduced to emergency department, floor and ICU staff as the next iteration of ever-improving tools in the care of patients with sepsis and septic shock as we all work to lessen the global burden of sepsis. For more details, read the paper and download the Hour One Bundle tool at www.survivingsepsis.org.